This was the result of the high-speed crash. Four vehicles smashed, a life taken, and a family changed forever. Des Moines Police Sergeant Paul Parizic says the speeding driver stepped on it trying to beat a red light before slamming into another vehicle trying to make a turn. From the preliminary examination of the evidence at the scene and then the interviews we had with the witnesses, it certainly looks like excessive speed and reckless driving were the most significant contributors to this crash. In May, two motorcyclists were killed on East 14th, just a couple of blocks from here. A speeding car was behind that accident as well. Joanne Devon lives at East 14th and Thompson, but she won't turn on to the road here. I usually go up here to the stoplight and take a turn rather than here on 14th and, out, um, and Thompson. Because of the speed of some of the cars, you can't tell exactly how fast they're going. The tendency for speeding is well known among people who live in the area or drive through it. Some simply call it unsafe. The stoplights help a little bit, kind of curbs the traffic from getting too fast, but I'm not sure what more could be done. Definitely needs to be maybe patrolled a little more or something. The latest update we got on the 20 year old who is seriously injured is that she is expected to survive. We're live in Des Moines. Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.